Hi, I'm Carly, the transit educator for the Comox Valley Regional District. I've put this video together so that you can all try transit in the rural areas of the Comox Valley. Because let's face it, it just feels right. Although riding transit in rural locations is much like riding transit anywhere else in the Comox Valley, there are certain tips that you can follow to make sure your ride on BC Transit is as successful as it can be. First off, let's talk about the electoral area bus routes. In the electoral areas of the CVRD, the following routes are offered. The number 10 Royston to Buckley Bay travels from downtown Courtney to the Driftwood Mall, then out to Royston, past Union Bay and Buckley Bay, all the way out to Fanny Bay. The number 11 Little River Bus travels from downtown Courtney to North Island College, then to BC Ferries via Anderton, to CFB Comox, then to the Comox Airport. It then returns to downtown Courtney via North Island College. The number 12 North Valley Connector travels from downtown Courtney to the Comox Valley Sports Center, out to the Island Highway, through Merville, then through Black Creek, all the way out to Oyster River where you can hook up with the Campbell River Transit Service. Let's talk about flagging down the bus in the rural areas. Because in rural areas there aren't very many actual bus stops, I'm here in Area B getting ready to flag down the bus. I've chosen an area that's nice and wide so the bus can pull off the road. I've worn a pink t-shirt to make sure I'm visible. So this at night I should be maybe carrying a cell phone, carrying a flashlight or something so the bus driver can see me. When I see the bus, I'm going to give a quick wave to the bus driver, letting them know that I want to be picked up. Okay, let's see how it goes. Here comes the bus. See how I gave him plenty of notice, indicating that I wanted to get on the bus? And he can safely pull over on the wide shoulder. Wait till the bus comes to a complete stop before getting on board. Now, the same rules apply for getting off the bus. You want to make sure that you find a safe location for the bus driver to pull over, and you want to make sure that you also give the bus driver plenty of notice. Follow these tips in rural areas for flagging down the bus, and you'll know to have a very successful trip on BC Transit. Let's talk about timing points. Timing points are bus stops identified by bold capital letters that are shown on the bus route map and corresponding schedule. Along the route, you will find other bus stops that are not shown in the schedule. To use timing points, find the bus stop location nearest to where you want to catch the bus and use the previous timing point to estimate what time you should get to your bus stop. You can also use timing points to find your destination bus stop to help you better plan your trip. Thanks for watching! For more information, log on to the BC Transit website at www.bctransit.ca or log on to the Comox Valley Regional District website at www.comoxvalleyrd.ca.